stopping in to take a look at a little prep table. Uh, apparently we've added refrigerant to this unit like a couple years ago, maybe three years ago. So suspecting that it's probably low again, but I don't know, it could be something else too. So we're gonna go check it out and see what we find. You can see it says 35. So that actually seems pretty good. I wonder if they brushed this out. That looks almost like it was recently brushed out. So I just looked underneath their food trays. They have ice underneath there to temporarily keep it cool. And since there's no ports, we're going to add a line tap. So I flushed all the air out of this line. Going all the way over the top. negative 3 psi before the thing's even on, so we're going to add a little bit. It doesn't seem to say how much you're bridging. <laughs> Okay, so something definitely is not right with that thing. I was thinking that it, uh, well, I was thinking that it was low, obviously. We had, a, it was in a slight vacuum and it uh, wasn't warming up on the coil at all, but I've added six ounces of refrigerant and the unit is running such that it, it sounds a lot louder than it normally does. And then the other thing that's an issue is the coil's not getting warmer. I would expect that coil to get warmer as we add refrigerant, which it was at first, but then it seems to kind of ab have abruptly stopped. There's a possibility that the regulating device has failed in such a way it's not letting any refrigerant through at all. So if it's a capillary tube, then perhaps it's plugged, which would mean all the refrigerant is gonna get pumped into the high side and won't have any way to get back across except through the compressor or through the restriction but usually compressors don't let that much refrigerant through and uh, if the restriction is bad enough it won't let anything through. Um, if it's an expansion valve then there's a possibility that the valve is failed in such a way that it's not letting any refrigerant through which I kind of think it has more of some kind of valve. So this morning it's like 15, 16 degrees. It got pretty cold. See the roads all ice now. We're gonna go put in that expansion valve at Subway. Hopefully we can get it done before the like lunch rush, but we'll see. So it's like a week later, you know. <coughs> we have that part. You can see we got 100 and almost 150 PSI on the high side, 
and only three on the low. So we know that the liquid's getting through the compressor. It's just sitting in this coil and it's not going anywhere else. And we probably have straight liquid here. That we do. So we're gonna get that recovered. So we're down to three PSI on the low side. So there's like no room to work here. I have to try to do all my brazing back inside there. We've got like four inches here and then it's forward in the way. I was able to slide this out and set it on this crate so at least it gives us a little space. There is the expansion bulb and the valve after I got all this insulation off. And yeah, it looks like the expansion valve head just rusted to pieces. And then it's kind of weird, I've never seen where the bulb is held on with hose clamps. Apparently that is a thing. You can see both of those hose clamps failed. And I believe it's because the screw was not stainless, but the rest of the thing was. So the screws rusted out completely. Looks pretty, looks pretty horrendous. So I just unwrapped the line and pulled the liquid line out and bent this thing so that I can get at it better because it's gonna be really challenging to braze as is but if it was back in that corner where it was that would be nearly impossible so we'll braise it here and then we'll push it back where it needs to be hey dad okay Crazy. And the high side was just full of liquid. So I think the the expansion valve is a problem. Okay. Yeah, I just got the expansion valve out and tried to blow through it, and you can't blow any air through it at all. So it was the expansion valve. It's not going to be easy to braze a new one back in. It's like, there's like horribly small amount of space to work in, but I'll get it. Yep. Nope. They say it picks up again at about 11, so I'm trying to rush here. Alright, bye. <coughs> so yeah, there's the old expansion valve out of the system, and I cannot blow through it all. Typically you could blow through it slightly, I'm pretty sure. can't get any air through it at all so that that was our problem basically the liquid line which comes all the way up to right here had a really bad restriction which was the regulating device so a failed regulating device or a plugged orifice or a plugged filter dryer anything that's going to stop the liquid from completing the circuit is a uh, liquid line restriction so that was our problem now we're going to get our new one brazed in actually pulled the liquid line out here we're gonna stick the expansion valve here and braze it here first and then push this back in and then braze that one there. Just, it's not ideal because we can't like get both ends in so there'll be more air exposure but it's kind of what we're gonna have to do because there's just no room to braze. I'm using the old expansion valve as extra support while this gets brazed. Right here. Six percent solar rays. You know, are there any fire alarms in this main area? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little brazing, and there's a possibility they'll go off. If there okay, are. Any. I don't think there are. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of loud, so okay. don't get startled.
everything in position where it's supposed to be. And now we just gotta insulate it. It is all re-insulated. Still holding 747 microns. The vacuum's been off for eight minutes now. So we know what we're good. Clean, dry, no leaks. We get this thing slid partly back in and then we'll add refrigerant. Here's one of those screws from that hose clamp that totally failed. Can't believe they used a fair screw like that. The other part was stainless, but oh well. But yeah, you can see it's got frost. It just pools and puts frost on all these parts. These like walls, the dividers. Yeah, should be good. That uh, pretty much concludes this call. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Kind of interesting troubleshooting. It's a system that has a plugged expansion device or regulating device. Bye.